Down here on Earth, Rebecca, we got big issues on the east side of the mountains with wildfires and on the west side, everyone's wondering what about the smoke? And you said earlier that's going to probably pass towards Idaho, Montana. But what are we going to see? We're going to see a lot of cloud cover probably for most of today. It looks like we're going to be socked into the clouds with just a little bit of clearing right before the sun comes down. As we look outside right now, you can see that there's plenty of cloud cover around La Push. And as we're seeing that cloud cover stick around, we even had little spotty areas of drizzle this morning. That'll be common tomorrow as well, possibly Saturday morning, but right now we're just talking about cloud cover staying mostly dry, save for the little areas of mist and drizzle. And as we get into Hansville, one of our normally sunny spots that we like to look at, you can see just how cloudy it is. When the marine clouds rolled in, they're very thick. That means they go up fairly high in the sky, so we're not going to see them break up too quickly, even though the sun is bearing down on the top of them. And it makes it visible from the satellite view that you can see the low clouds socked in. There's a little more sunshine around Bellingham and the San Juan Islands, but definitely for the coast and around Puget Sound. We're in the clouds. Bellevue, our open window school, seems to show a little bit of a sun break briefly, and then you can see how the uh, sun starts to move around, a little bit of a breeze in the tree. Now for the Seattle King 5 rooftop, temperature right now 61 degrees, mostly cloudy. 61. We've been seeing temperatures more in the 70s here at this hour, but not today or yesterday even for that matter. 61 right now for Seattle, but you can see 58 for Tacoma and also a cool 58 for Oak Harbor. So in the 50s, most Mostly right now, and we're going to stay on the cooler side because we're in a big trough of low pressure. And as it's over us, we don't have anything to really cause any lift or anything to uh, lift the clouds up and squeeze out all the moisture. That does happen tomorrow morning into the early afternoon as this area of low pressure, the center, is going to start sliding south. And as it slides south and gets closer to us, we're going to have some cloudier days and we're also going to see that risk of drizzle. But we'll get that little bit of clearing today. You can already see that sun here to the north. Temperatures in the mid 60s for your daytime highs around the islands. Further south, we've got 72 for Redmond, becoming partly sunny to mostly sunny as we get later into the afternoon. I do think we'll see a little bit of sunshine as we get around 72 for Olympia. The coast, you'll stay mostly in the clouds. Temperatures in the mid 60s, nice and cool forecast for you. It still feels like we're cooling off after that historic heat wave. Now, east of the Cascades, here's where we have those concerns about wildfire danger, and it's still hot in the 90s. But what we've got for the next seven days is some partial clearing and Friday is the day that we'll see that little bit of drizzle, otherwise mostly cloudy skies, and we're going to expect to see some drizzle again early Saturday morning, but we'll start to dry out Saturday. So Friday, the coolest, cloudiest day, and as we look towards our uh, Sunday, we've got morning clouds and then sunny skies, and that's a pattern that is typical for summertime. Looks like we're going to be sticking with it, even with another chance of drizzle coming in early Tuesday. Then we'll be back to the morning clouds and afternoon sun on Wednesday. Thank you, Rebecca. 12